After a truncated but successful 2022 campaign ending in a national championship, Adonai Mitchell made the surprising decision to leave Georgia for the Texas Longhorns. This decision paid off with a career year and blossoming hype for his NFL potential. But is that excitement warranted? Find out on this two-minute drill. When you see Adonai Mitchell on tape, the first thing that immediately pops is his tall, lean frame. Mitchell possesses excellent length and uses it well, giving him a massive catch radius both around and away from his body. His hand-eye coordination is equally as great as strength, giving him some of the best hands in the class, and he consistently vacuums up even poorly placed targets. He boasts a smooth, speedy acceleration and a great ability to tempo his wide variety of routes, letting him quickly get to work in the next phase selling his motions with his head and shoulders. When Mitchell breaks, he's quick and deliberate, and his flexibility to catch ahead of himself offers him additional advantages when moving horizontally. On deep routes, Mitchell has a great feel for his defender, and once past him, neatly stacks him and gets his eyes up to look for the ball. He does also carry something of a clutch factor, always seeming to find the ball when the team needs a first down or a touchdown. Unfortunately, the negatives with Mitchell are defined by the same sources as the positives. With the ball in his hands, his light frame leaves him poor through contact, and he generates meager yards after the catch. This also gives him little potential behind the line of scrimmage on screens or in motion. While his blocking improved throughout the season, there continued to be moments where he was beaten to his spot or simply couldn't sustain his position. In his route running, Mitchell has a tendency to get upright too early, creating improper depth in the stem, and the diversity in his tree has left him more of a jack-of-all-trades and master of none in his refined techniques. As of now, his footwork isn't quite on the same page as his upper body, both in tracking and selling his routes. At the NFL level, my comparison for Mitchell is Josh Reynolds. Upon reaching Texas A&M, Reynolds exploded, racking up 30 touchdowns and nearly 3,000 yards in his three seasons at College Station. Like Mitchell, he was a tall, lean prospect with below-average strength and little short game usage who became a monster downfield whenever his team needed him most using his tremendous ball skills to place a constant threat on defenses. Upon jumping to the NFL, Reynolds has become more of a utility player, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was what was in store for Mitchell as well. As of now, I would expect him to go somewhere in the second round, but in a top-heavy receiver class, my personal grade would put him closer to the end of the third or early on day three. And that's the two-minute drill.